I created a super test creator. I need to study for a test about a parallel programming su subject per day. The test is next week and I will study every day until test. So here's the result and here it's what it have created. Hello, that's the first video of my channel. My name is Leonardo. I'm a software engineer and I'm here to show you my last project. Uh, I tried to implement an MCP and N8N. So basically, that's the result I'm going to show you. I created a super task creator ready to help you organize your day like a pro. Just tell me what you need. So I have a use case here. I need to study for a test about a parallel programming. Create a list for this and I will study one subject per day. The test is next week and I will study every day until test. So let's see what it returns to us. I'm drinking my mate right now. So here's the result. Parallel programming study list. Introduction to parallel programming notes basics of par parallelism and concurrency, definitions and examples, task is here, threads and process, due dates. So it basically did this for me in which platform? I didn't tell you yet, but I'm gonna tell it's Google Tasks. Why Google Tasks? I have to show you some things first, but I'm just going to show the Google Task open here. And here it's the, what it have created. So it worked. Now let's move on why Google Tasks and other things. First, I organized this to the presentation, something simple. And the idea to me was simple. I, I want to implement an MCP and see how it works in any end because it's simple and I would like to test this, this tool. And which API would I, I would use? First, I tried to use uh, ClickUp, but the API was not free or I wasn't able to find it for free. And I just moved, moved on. So I thought, oh, Microsoft to, to do because uh, it's another tool that I used personally in another context. And to complex credentials, Microsoft, you are not simple. And then I found Google Tasks. Why Google Tasks? Good, good documentation. We just go Google Tasks API and it gives us a lot of things on free accounts like mine. I have already set OAuth my N810, so it was easy. Building the agent with MCP. Step-by-step -step process that I used to implement this. First, I create the individual nodes as tools right here. I tested one by one to understand how the API works. And then you look here, it's all set, all set it up to just run. But to test it, I did it in the agent. So all these nodes was in this agent and then I moved it to the MCP to be used there. I did this and I had some trouble testing it, but in the end, all of it worked. Key concepts I used to implement this was this tool from AI that N810 has right now. Right here we have from AI, that's a node, and then the AI uh, puts the input right there where you listed it. So basically it works right like that. I used this node, to, this tool of N810 to do all this because it have the the parts of API that we need to put data. Some lessons and gotchas discovered. Now everything is running because I I discovered this, but two names cannot contain dashes. I don't know why if I just go here and then put uh, a dash, sometimes it will work, sometimes it won't. Uh, next thing, test things before moving to the MCP. So test in the agent that it will uh, be using. And then you move to MCP to assure that it's working. And the description of the, of the tools, it's the key. You have to put too much effort on this to work. Other thing, don't use from AI unnecessarily because it, if you put this inside here, the N810 will think it is a variable and it won't work again. So don't do this. Uh, don't write this down on the description, only use in the URL or something uh, that needs it. And this is just to fill space or time. I'm not going to explore more. I just want to use an MCP and implement it in an 
in A10. And here, call to action. Uh, what? Tell me what you think about the MCP. And if you have a project like that, or if you want more videos, because I will record this. Uh, we will record my project, and I'm going to begin this little channel for the future. I like this kind of stuff and I know how to, to show my thoughts. So tell me what you think and goodbye until the next project.